All right, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to connect Excel to a Google Sheets spreadsheet. We're going to leave the spreadsheet in the Google Sheets format. So when you go to Drive and you uh, look at the folder that this is saved in, this uh, one that's highlighted is Google Sheets. So the icon is slightly different. What we're not going to do in this tutorial, but I'll link to a tutorial where we will do this, is convert the file to XLSX. All right, so the point of this is that we have it in Sheets, we wanna leave it in Sheets, but we want to look at it, maybe work with the data a little bit in Excel. So there's a couple steps to do this. And a little caveat before we get too far is that it's a one-way connection. So you can bring the data into Excel, you can save the file, you can work with the data, but you can't write anything back to Google Sheets. And I'll show you what I mean. So what you want to do is double click on the Google Sheets file to open it, which I've done in this other tab and check your sharing settings. So you want to have it available to anyone so that you can link to it. So instead of restricted, let's just say anyone with the link. And then we're going to copy that link. That's going to put it on the clipboard. So now we have that link. We will come over to Excel and we want to bring this spreadsheet in and we're going to do it via this link that we're going to tell Excel about. So we will go up to the data ribbon and we'll come to the get and transform data area of the ribbon and we'll click on from web. So this box comes up and it asks you the location of the data. So it is from the web. So what it wants is a web address. And once it comes up here, we're going to paste what we got from Google Sheets, but then we're going to change the end. So you see the URL has this long string of random characters and then a slash. And after that slash, you're going to type export and then do a question mark and then equals, we'll say format.xlsx. Hit okay. So that's telling Excel where to look and what it's going to be. And here we can already see it's working. So if we look on the left, there's one sheet in this file, it's called sheet one. And that's what you see here. So we will click on that as our source data and Excel is picking up what's in there. If you have multiple tables in one sheet, they can show here. I've had trouble linking to them. I think it's easier just to link to the entire sheet. So we'll click on that sheet one. It gives us a preview on the right. If this doesn't look quite right, you may need to go into transform data to work with it, but I like it the way it looks. So we will just click on load. It takes a while to think about it. And what it's going to do, is going to have a live link and bring this data into Excel. So it'll show you the window on the right called queries and connections where you can work with this. But if you see here, this is the data from Google Sheets. Now you can work with it. So let's just say we want to, I don't know, let's say sell the units. Those values are in there. They work like other values. The formulas will work. But what you can't do is edit this data and expect Google Sheets to update. All right, so you can add to it. You can add other worksheets. You can save the Excel file, but you can't edit Google Sheets. So if we come here on the left though, you'll see that if I edit the Sheets file in Google Sheets, we'll change to 27 to a 28 and we'll come back into Excel and we will click on the little icon that says refresh and that changed to a 28. Okay, so that's creating a connection from Sheets into Excel. But if you want to edit the same file in Sheets or Excel and be able to modify the data in each, we're going to go through that in this next video. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.